guys so here are some easy inexpensive ways to remove hair from your body i'm going to show you the few ways that i do when i'm at home listen if your money is looking funny these things that i'm going to show you is very super inexpensive probably some of the things you got in your kitchen whatever so keep on watching because we're going to get right into it y'all know sometimes you have those little nose hairs and they be coming you know you don't have that many you know but you have those little nose hairs so i got me a little nose um nose trimmer and it's real super easy to use i'll try to find one in my amazon cart but you just take it and you just get right there in the edge just the little straggly ones right there and voila you're done keep the hairs keep your nose and stuff hairs all in place all right number two how to remove hair from your face for all the hairy girls out there honey i'm coming for you honey because if you like me and you a hairy girl <laughs> you know the struggle is real so i like to use aloe vera gel and here's what i do i slap it on i be real generous with it and i go all the way down my neck because y'all know your girl is hairy do you hear me so this is what i be doing with sunshines at least once or twice a week because ain't nobody got time to be having no beard i ain't trying to be looking like no man i don't want to do all that you know but listen, you just take you a little microdermer. I get these in the pack from my Amazon. I have my Amazon storefront up here, but you just take it and you just go under wherever the hair growing. You go up and you're going to go down. And that's all the, most of the stuff that I deal with. See, you, well, you getting the hair off. That's mostly what I deal with on my face. I don't have like a lot of pimples or nothing. It's just mostly where I have the, the hair growing. So this is how you gonna remove the hair once a week. Uh, third inexpensive ways of when your money is looking funny, you trying to keep your eyebrows looking decent. Y'all know mine's a real thin, so I ain't gonna have much to take off, but I usually get them threaded, but on in between times before I, you know, when I get them threaded, cause it usually lasts me about a good two months. So it's going on. You can tell um, they've started growing out, but my eyebrows have always been thin. But this is what I do. I I brush them all the way up, and you'll see the little stragglers. I don't have much, y'all, so I ain't going to be taking off much. <laughs> I'm going to be baldy, you see. And then what I do is I take a little Q-tip. Q-tip, ooh. And I take some Nair the baby oil softening or the cocoa cocoa butter but I, I like the baby oil one and what i'm gonna do is just put a little bit okay so i'm gonna go right in the center just right in there where you think the hair is you don't want to get too too much it's just to clean it up till you go and get your eyebrows threaded. Then I'm gonna take it right above. You just basically cleaning, cleaning your eyebrows up. And I take it above my eyebrows. I go under my eyebrows and I do that on both eyes. And that's all you gotta do. And you let it sit on there for a few minutes. Don't let it stay on there too long because y'all know Nair can have that little tingling feeling. And you don't want to let it stay on there too long and break your skin out. But just a few minutes until you get, you know, that little tingling sensation started. And you don't leave it on but a few minutes and then you, you're you done. All right, you guys. So it's been a few minutes. So I'm going to let y'all see how I take it off. And be real gentle because, you know, Nair have a little stinging preface to it or whatever. And you just be real gentle. And you see, you can see, start to see some of my hair is coming off. And then you're just going to tape it and wipe it off. See? All right, so now when I'm done, I just brush my eyebrows up. And you can see I removed all the straggly hairs. And this will hold you till you get to your place where you get them threaded or waxed or whatever the case is. And then I just follow it up with a little aloe vera because you know once you get your eyebrows threaded or whatever it'd be a little you know clean them up and put a little 
it'll just cool yet yeah, cool that place off easy peasy all right and the other inexpensive way on how i um go ahead and get the hair off my body we're gonna move on down to the body wise y'all know this is 125 at the dollar tree i use this for my arms my legs you know whatever i need to do that way if i'm lazy i will just use the soap when i'm lathering and just shave it all off easy peasy but for my girl downstairs, I don't trust myself with scissors down there. She too delicate. She was like, mm-mm, Terse, I don't like them scissors down here nowhere near me. I don't put scissors down there. But to keep my hair groomed down there, I just take this right here, put some on there, and just let it fall off in the shower. And then for the sides, you know, right there between your thighs where the hair grow, you could just take this and put it on there and just let it fall off. That's the easy and simple way. And don't forget your backside. You know, hair grow up in there too, but I wouldn't necessarily put a razor back there because, girl, I can't see, you know. I can't see. So I take a little bit of this and put it right in the crevices, crevices, honey, of my behind, and just let it fall off in the shower because, you know, hair, anywhere on your body, hair can grow. So I hope these inexpensive ways help you to keep the hair off because y'all know hair hold musk. So, and once I do that, Anywhere that I've shaved, I always follow it up with some organic coconut oil just to give my face, you know, when you have tension, you put the coconut oil on there or Vaseline to soothe it back out. And I use aloe vera up here for my eyebrows. So y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comments. Let me know some of your favorite ways to remove hair from your body. Um, do you do any of these or do you wax? So 